Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between George MacDonnell and Henry Bird. This amazing chess game was played in London in 1874. MacDonnell had white pieces and he started with e4. Henry Bird played e5, f4, the king's gambit. Pawn takes pawn on f4, accepted. Knight to f3, the standard move, g5, h4, g4, knight to e5, h5, defending the pawn on g4, bishop to c4, straight for the throat, knight to h6, d4, d6, kicking the knight back, knight to d3, black to move. Developing a piece comes to mind, do you agree? Henry Bird played f3, g3. If g takes on f3, then bishop to e7. Back to our game. g3 defending the pawn on h4. But now f5. Knight to c3. If pawn takes pawn on f5, knight takes on f5. And if king goes to f2, d5. And black is standing better. Back to our game. Knight to c3. f takes on e4. Knight takes on e4. Knight to f5, king to f2, bishop to e7, let's take it back. If knight takes on d4, then bishop to g5, and white is standing better. Back to our game. It is easy to go wrong here. Bishop to e7, knight to f4, rook to h7, let's take it back. c6 should have been considered. Back to our game. Rook to h7. Knight to g6. Let's take it back. Queen to e1 was suggested by chess experts after the game. Back to our game. Knight to g6. d5. Knight takes on e7. Rook takes knight was expected. d takes on e4. Knight to d5. Bishop to e6. Bishop to g5, attacking the queen, and this is the most interesting moment of the game. Black to move. How would you continue? Perhaps moving the queen comes to mind. If queen goes to d6, then knight to f6, check. And white is better. Back to our game. In this position, Henry Bird made an amazing move, which stunned the audience. He played. Bishop takes on d5. Is this a blunder? Or did Henry Bird have something in mind? Let's see. Bishop takes queen. Black to move. What is the follow-up? How would you continue? Henry Bird played e3 check. King to g1. Bishop takes on c4. Bishop to g5. And the dark squared bishop escaped. This is an amazing position. Black has no queen. But he has two dangerous passed pawns. F2 check. King to h2. e2 attacking the queen. Queen to d2. Black to move. Another amazing moment. Spectators expected that Bird would push one of the pawns and promote it to queen. This was expected. Pawn to f1 queen. Rook takes queen. Pawn takes rook, queen. Rook takes queen. Bishop takes on f1. Queen to e1, check. Interestingly, the game will transpose to this position. Let's go back to our game. Pawn to f1, knight. This is a more spectacular continuation. Rook takes knight. Pawn takes rook, another knight, check. Rook takes knight. Bishop takes rook, queen to e1, check. Knight to e7, queen takes bishop. Knight from b to c6, d5. Rook to f7, attacking the queen, queen to c4. Knight to e5, queen takes pawn on c7. Knight to f3, check, king to g2. Rook to c8, attacking the queen, queen to a5. Rook takes on c2, check, king to f1. Knight takes bishop, check, discovered check, king to e1. And the white queen now has to fight against four black pieces. And she is not Bruce Lee. 
Knight to f3 check, king to d1, rook to d2 check, king to c1, knight takes on d5, a3, rook to c7 check, king to b1, black to move, black can win in more than one way, but I like the way Henry Bird continued. He played knight to c3 check, b takes on c3, if king goes to c1 then rook to d1 check, and after king to c2, knight to d4, check, mate. So we have pawn takes knight. Black played a move and white resigned, and the move is rook to e7. Donald resigned in view of rook to e1, check, mate. Wow, what a fantastic game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.